A Course in Miracles, Workbook for Students, Volume 2, Part 2, Lesson 289. The past is over, it can touch me not. Unless the past is over in my mind, the real world must escape my sight. For I am really looking nowhere, seeing but what is not there. How can I then perceive the world forgiveness offers? This the past was made to hide. For this, the world that can be looked on only now. It has no past. For what can be forgiven but the past? And if it is forgiven, it is gone. Father, let me not look upon a past that is not there. For you have offered me your own replacement. In a present world, the past has left untouched and free of sin. Here is the end of guilt, and here am I made ready for your final step. Shall I demand that you wait longer for your son to find the loveliness you planned to be the end of all his dreams and all his pain? The past is over. It can touch me not. The past is over. It can touch me not. This lesson brings me so much joy and so much relief because I have been the kind of person that has dwelled on the past and what was and in the pain and suffering on the past and events in the past. And the past is no longer here. It doesn't exist. It's not here. The past is not here. What's here is the memories of what happened. What's here is the aftermath of what happened. But what we have in the absolute present moment in time, what we have right here, right now, right here, right now, what we have is a sinless, forgiven world in this moment. It's only the choices we make in the moment now that determines the next moment and the next and the next. The past is gone. I'm busy reading a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I'm finding it really interesting to look at the research he did over 20 years. And one of the things that I've come to realize is so many people who have turned their lives around and whether it be in business, whether it be in science, whether it be just personally in their own lives, have done it knowing the taste of failure. But they haven't held on to that. They learned the lesson. They learned the lesson and it was gone. You know, the past is gone. It's, it's gone. It's not here. We have now. Thomas Edison, he learned more than 10,000 ways how not to make a light bulb because it doesn't work those 10,000 ways. Imagine if he had stopped. Sure, somebody else would have come up with it, no doubt. But not him. So it is time to remind yourself that there comes a point in your life where you have to draw the line in the sand. There is no way you cannot do this. You have to draw the line in the sand and say this far no further, that's gone. And this is where I am. And this is what I'm creating. And I hope you do that because this is my week for doing it. So I wish you well, think about it. I wish you well. And I wish you all the joy and happiness and blessing and abundance and prosperity and success that you want in your life. But you ain't getting nothing until you let the past go. So until tomorrow's class, good luck and take care.